Yeah, I just think he was always a very calming presence and just, you know, always seemed really approachable and kind of normal when, you know, sometimes other entertainment people can be really kind of lively and, you know, a little bit more out there. And he just seemed to really relate to, you know, normal everyday people and also relate to the entertainers and kind of, you know, bring the two worlds together. He touched everybody. I don't think anybody has anything bad to say about Dick Clark. I've never heard anything bad about him in my life, so. And a lot of people's growing up. If you're a past year and you're middle aged or in your 40s, I mean, you know of Dick Clark. And uh, we're taking Felix's Hollywood walking tour, and uh, we were approached and told about the news and quite shocked. Um, I had been, uh, when I flew in this morning, I was actually sharing this story of Dick Clark with a friend of mine, because I remember it every time I come down here. And uh, I was lucky enough to attend an award show that he produced. So I got a real glimpse into the back uh, story of how television happens and moving people around. And I was sharing that story with her uh, on the way down here. We had no idea. And we're just getting ready to start the tour. It was a way for me when I was younger to share my music with my parents and get them to understand what I was interested in and vice versa.